was a fire up here. Holy shit, there's a house on fire. There's a house on fire. There's a house on fire. <laughs> a house on fire. Okay, I know I had to say it like five times though. So I figured, hey, if I slow down and just say it really slowly, she might understand what I'm saying. Let's pull over and check this Bigfoot out. Hey, check it out. It's a Bigfoot dick in a box. It's a Bigfoot dick in a box. All the fucking family of Sasquatches. What is this, Cooper's Corner? A little bit of everything. I've been wanting to check this place out, but they're never open whenever I come by. Free child safe seat check, or child safety seat check. Got a bunch of old garage signs. There's a T-Rex over there. That's pretty cool. There's a bunch of street signs. Got some firewood, cool motor. Hours, Thursday to Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sunday, 1 to 6. I might have to come by here one day. They got some cool shit in there, it looks like. I like all these old street signs and stuff, the SO street signs, Sunbeam Bread, Golf. That's pretty cool. I've seen their uh, Bigfoot uh, creatures out here, their big cutouts, uh, the past few weeks since they've had this place open. I think they've been here like a month or two by now. But I keep seeing this one right here with a shit, this fucking gravel right here. I'm sliding in it. This uh, this one right here, I keep seeing it. And every time I see it, I think Bigfoot dick in a box. <laughs> My dick in a mailbox. But yeah, every time I see that, I sing fucking Lonely Island and Justin Timberlake. This shit's hilarious. All right, let's see if we can go here. As soon as these cars go by. Good God, of course, now that I want to go, the sun's freaking beating down on me and every single car is just chilling. I hope my camera's angled right. I really hope so. Uh, I did some changes to the GoPro. The the back uh, little mounting loop on the back door of the GoPro I, I cut off because it was in the way. And I have it mounted to the bottom of the GoPro, so I didn't need it. <laughs> and now I don't know if I have it tilted back far enough or too far or what, but we'll figure it out. It's denial and error. Whenever I figure it out, I always take, or I, I, I need to, I don't always, but I've always thought about taking uh, like a whiteout marker or like a, you know, some whiteout or whatever and leaving a little mark. That way I can line it up every time. But we'll see. But what's up, ladies and genitalia? No longer Cruiser Bruiser here. Uh, I'm sure that you've noticed when you see this video posted that it is uh, not under the Cruiser Bruiser name anymore. So, I will uh, go into a little bit of detail about that and why I changed my name. So, if you haven't noticed, now my name on YouTube is Heshermoto. Uh, it may stay Heshermoto, it may not. I also have some other names that I'm kind of just floating around in my old dome up here. Uh, I was also thinking of like Hesher Rides. That way, I mean, obviously Hesher ends in R, you know, and I can do like a... Like a Hesher Rides and end, end Hesher in, R, in the backwards R and then rides and the forwards are and kind of like combine them together make it all like one word hesher rides i don't know that's just ideas i have floating in my head but uh yeah let me know what you guys think of the name change uh you know if you guys like the new name if you don't if you like my old name cruiser bruiser that's cool too but uh i'll tell you a little bit about why why i'm changing you know changing the name and giving the channel a little rebranding here uh so for one is uh as you've noticed you know over a uh, uh past couple of videos you know that I've been talking about you know the the Harley and everything and how I'm you know kind of kind of moved on to a point to where I just I'm just ready to ride something different uh, I listed the Dyna for sale I didn't really get many hits with it because the market with Dynas is just so saturated right now that it's it's fucking hard as shit to sell a, uh, sell a Harley right now at least for a decent amount and actually get your money's worth out of it I would have to drop it down to like $7,500 to $8,000 to fucking get anything out of it, which I'm not doing that. When this bike is easily worth around ten, dollars I'm not dropping it that far down. I mean, even, even the fucking dealerships were offering me around seven k to trade it in, and I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but anyway, uh, on to the channel name. Uh, I mean, the name Cruiser Bruiser, I've, you know, I started that channel in 2015, I believe it was started the name and everything or started this channel technically but yeah started the name cruiser bruiser in 2015 uh it was just kind of a quick spur of the moment channel name i was like yeah that sounds cool i like beer i like beer and i ride cruisers 
Uh, but now that I'm, you know, going to be moving on from cruisers, I mean, I'm still going to have this for now at least. Uh, I've actually put some new shocks on it. I put some Legends uh, Revo shocks on it, so it rides a little bit better. I got the Saddleman seat. Uh, what is all this? There's like a bunch of gravel and just random shit in the road up through here. Like, the, it's not even little patches. It's everywhere. The entire road's covered in it. But anyway. <laughs> So yeah, leave me down in the comments, you know, put me put me some uh, opinions down there on what you guys think. If you think it's a, it's a good channel name, if it's a shitty channel name, if I should just go back to Cruiser Bruiser. You know, whatever. Just just let me know in the comments. You can tell me. Be honest with me. Honestly, not a lot of people have been watching these videos lately, and I don't really blame them. I suck. <laughs> I'm not the world's greatest moto vlogger. But, uh, but yeah, you can leave down in the comments whether or not you like the name. But on from that, we're going to go cruise around out here. We just went through the whopping gigantic downtown of Chickamauga, Georgia. <laughs> we're going to head up the road. We're just going to do some cruising and kind of shoot the shit. Something just hit me in the leg. Let's go take a look at the Coke ovens real quick. I haven't been through here in forever. There's actually a geocache out here that uh, me and my wife came and found one time. She's found it plenty of times in the past because she used a geocache all the time, like years ago. But I never really started geocaching or anything until she, you know, she started geocaching or until she, you know, had me geocache with her. Well, let's walk around the Coke ovens and see what's up over here. But here's the Coke ovens. Uh, I guess I'll just put, <laughs> I'll put on the screen exactly what they were used for. I think it's something to do with like, was it fucking, I know they were like burning coal to do something. I don't fucking know. Maybe these signs say, I don't know enough about the history around here to be able to tell you guys exactly what these are, but there it is. Chickamauga history. Uh, yeah. Coal company. Yeah. Okay. So it is coal. The beehive ovens were designed to turn coal into coke for use in the iron and steel foundries in nearby Chattanooga. Burning the coal at high temperatures without any oxygen present removed the impurities from the coal and the remaining product was called coke. Coke burned hotter, longer, and steadier than coal and that was the foundries needed, or that was what foundries needed to make steel and iron. More views of the coke ovens in Chickamauga notice the tracks on top of the ovens. So they have tracks on top of the coke ovens here and it would dump the coal down into it and burn it and essentially turning it into coke uh i mean i always thought coke was either cocaine or coca-cola but apparently coke was <laughs> basically melted down coal to make iron so that's pretty cool preparing coal for the coke ovens after the coal was brought out of the mines it was taken to rock creek and loaded into large baskets to be washed they could wash about 300 tons of coal per day then it was loaded into the train to be taken to the company's 100 large coke ovens located in Chickamauga, which is where we are right here. That doesn't look like 100 to me. It looks like maybe 20. There must have been more. They just probably were damaged or something. I don't know. Pictured Chickamauga coke ovens at the height of production. Iron ore mines. Mining in Dade County, Georgia. Rising Fawn Furnace and Chattooga County Mining. So that's pretty cool. A little bit of Chickamauga history here. The company store, Durham Coal Company begins, Chickamauga history. And this right here, I will just do a freeze frame or something, so I don't have to read the whole thing. So this, this is a, a big, it's like these Chickamauga, a big Civil War town. Uh, that's why we have the battlefield, I mean, right up the road. There's a lot of, a lot of Civil War, uh, Civil War history here. Uh, like shit tons, like a fucking lot. So that's something I'm going to try to be doing a little bit more on the channel as well, is uh, going around to all these historic places, giving you guys a little bit of a, a history lesson on it, as well as giving myself a little bit of a history lesson on it, because I don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> I've, I've lived here for a while now, uh, at least in this area. When I was a kid, I, I lived in Lafette, actually, which is, I don't know, about a good 10, 15 minutes up the road and half this stuff I didn't even really know. We'd go to the park all the time when I was a kid. My mom would take us. We'd go to the Chickamauga Battlefield and everything, and I mean, I've been there a million times, and I still couldn't tell you half the history of it. <laughs> I just know there was like a giant war, and that was a battlefield. Well, I mean, I know there was a giant war, civil war, but the battlefield in Chickamauga is where a battle took place. Let's see what else we could find around here to get into. Yeah, those are the old Coke ovens. That's pretty neat, though. See, I've, I've been here in this area several times, 
um, you know, like I said, me and my wife came down here and we've got a geocache that's actually in that train car that's laying down there. Uh, which is something else that I was actually talking to the wife about once she's, you know, getting more and more comfortable riding, which she was, she's actually at the house right now riding around the neighborhood, you know, practicing and everything. Uh, so, you know, that's something we were talking about once she's, you know, a lot more comfortable and she's been on the road for a little bit, we're going to start doing some more geocaching again. And that's something that obviously would make some, some decent content for the channel. I mean, I could bring you guys on some, some geocaching adventures. I think that would be pretty cool. And hopefully you guys think the same. All right, the next stop, there's this uh, historic building behind uh, behind the Choo Choo Barbecue up here. Um, and around here in Chattanooga area, Chattanooga Valley, we have a lot of uh, barbecue places called Choo Choo Barbecue. I'm not sure if they're all owned by the same people or the same organization or what. Because uh, I don't know if any of them have their names patented, like, you know, or trademarked or anything. I don't really know. But uh, there's several Choo Choo Barbecues, and that's because this, at least Chattanooga, is like a major, like, train uh like rail car system i mean there's even like massive fucking like depots and stuff there's uh the signal is actually where the like a choo-choo hotel or some shit whatever it used to be called was uh which is the signal is our our venue that uh you know a lot of bands come through and play in and stuff like that that's where i saw guar last year the first time and then we went and saw him at the masquerade in atlanta the next time uh but yeah i mean the signal has, they used to be right across from uh, Finley Field, Finley Stadium, whatever you want to call it, which is where the Chattanooga uh, Soccer Club plays, uh, and also where I think it's, I think UTC plays football or there, so, so somebody like that plays football there. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, they used to be there, but they moved into the old, uh, the Chattanooga Choo Choo uh, hotel and bar and all that kind of stuff, so now it's a concert hall, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, that, that'll be a video for another day, though. <laughs> we'll go up there and I'll, I'll do a little bit of a little bit of a history background of, of the Chattanooga area and different places. Because, I mean, Chattanooga is, is like Chickamauga. I mean, it's not like Chickamauga, but, I mean, similar to Ch Chattanooga and, and Chickamauga, there is a lot of, a lot of history and a lot of, uh, yeah, there's, there's just a lot of history. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of rambling and I'm confusing myself as I'm talking. But Chattanooga will be it for a different time. Right now, we're focusing on Chickamauga. But I can smell Choo Choo Barbecue already from here. And it's literally like a mile up the road and I can smell it. It's fucking smells good. But that's what my wife's going to get us for dinner. <laughs> so I'm going to ride around for a little bit, give you guys some more history lesson out through here, and then we'll uh, go home and eat. See, even our drug stores are named after <laughs> Civil War stuff. Cannon drugs with like a massive cannon on it. That's one thing you'll see a lot around here is there's a lot of cannons. Like especially in the battlefield, there's tons of cannons. And I don't even know 100% if they're replicas or if they're actual war-used cannons. Like, I don't know. That's something I'll have to look up and I'll, I'll throw it up on the screen if, you know, of what they are. If they're if they're actually real cannons or just replicas. Because I'm sure I could find something somewhere on Chickamauga's website. I think this is the place here that I'm thinking of. But I don't know how you get into this place without getting into somebody else's driveway. I gotta figure out what it even is. <laughs> I always see it down here and I've been thinking about riding down here to see and check it out, but I never have. It's a good thing about motor vlogging is some of the stuff I would have never done before and I've ridden past this place and driven past this place millions of fucking times and never stopped here. But there's some plaques right here. Let's read them. Let's, let's see what this place is. This is Lee and Gordon's Mills. Make sure I'm not stepping in ant beds around here. Uh, Crichton score. Uh, Lee and Gordon's Mills. Oh, September 11th. Holy crap, that's odd. <laughs> On September 11th, the last Confederate forces withdrew around 4.30 p.m. Ha! Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see. 4.30 p.m. across the creek. It's uh, to a stand of the timber... Or of timber half. God damn, I cannot fucking read. Across the creek to stand... To a stand of timber about a half mile east of the mills. Harker's Federals moved into position near the mills at that time. After placing a strong cordon of outposts and pickets along the western side of the creek, the Federal Army occupied the site. Some of the soldiers explored the buildings around the mill complex. Colonel Emerson Opdyke, 125th Ohio Infantry Regiment, later wrote, The mills here are good, and there is a large amount of wheat stored, but the rebels destroyed the machinery. Fucking rebels. Destroying the machinery so the northerners couldn't have the fucking mills. 
I'm assuming that's why they did it. <laughs> this advance party was joined by Lee and Gordon's Mills the next day by the other two divisions of General Thomas L. Crittenton's 21st Federal Army Corps. So yeah, that's, I mean, all this stuff here. I'll, I'll see if I can post some links, maybe like a website to something of this. Uh, I don't want to go through and read every single one of these plaques. But yeah, this is another spot here at uh, Gordon Lee Mills uh, to where they took took cover and used it as a as a base <laughs> essentially it's a fucking mill that water hose is on pouring it's making me thirsty somebody dropped a quarter or a, a five quart container of oil down there assholes well look at this I didn't know there was a waterfall back here what the fuck oh my god yeah I'm walking around to the other side here in a second well, this is cool as shit, dude. I never knew this was down here. <laughs> just the water just kind of just flowing through. Well, shit. Let's go around to the other side. The Lee and Gordon's Mills. First general store established in 1857. So I'm sure you guys have seen some of my older videos where I went to Prater's Mill and they had the same type of crank system to open the dam and all that good stuff. So, very similar to this. Well, that's just cool, man. There's a whole ass creek with a damn waterfall coming through here. I, have n I had no clue this was fucking here. I don't know how sturdy this bridge is. It feels pretty sturdy to me. Look at that shit. Somebody's been fishing up here. There's a fucking log stuck in the den <laughs> underneath the house. McDonald's cup somebody left. Fucking assholes. You see where all like when it storms real bad and all the trees come through and fall off. All the branches and everything they're all washed up up against the side of the house. All the trees over here that have just been just kind of stuck. Basically making its own dam. Well, that's just fucking cool, man. It's crazy how, how much you can live in a little area and never realize this stuff is fucking here. Shows how much I need to get out and explore, and that's what I was talking about, man. I mean, like I used to do back in the day, I used to come out and explore like this all the time. They even have a camera on the side of the building right here. I guess people coming out here and fucking and stuff. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it. People get busted coming out here and, and banging. Doing drugs. Which honestly, if you want to come out here and smoke a J, I mean, who gives a shit, honestly. There's a lot more. There's a, there's a lot worse you could be doing than to come out to a cool area with a, with a waterfall and soothing sounds of just running water there's a lot worse you could be doing out there than coming out here and just smoking a doobie with your friend like come on now but yeah i know i sound probably like an idiot when i talk about this stuff because it's been a long time since i've really looked into it so uh yeah the description i'll put some some information down there about the places we visited today and uh you know anything that i got wrong anything that i said feel free to correct me in the comments if you want me to uh, I'll also pop up on the screen and like anytime I say something wrong or anything I'll try to correct myself in, in, uh, in post <laughs> or in, in editing but uh, I'll try to correct myself on all that kind of stuff because I know I'll probably sound like an idiot we're going to go down this way ooh they're doing oh shit I'm going to pull in over here holy fuck oh, the huddle house has a bunch of old cars out there right now fuck yeah dude let's do a big old U-turn right y'all we're going to go over here to the huddle house. Ooh. Look at Bel Air. The <laughs> Yum. Nice. Oh shit, the Nova. I had a chance to get a Nova when I was 17 years old. I had the money saved up, got my taxes in. I was about to buy it. Guy across the street had it. It was 350 small block. Thing was fucking nice. And then my mom took my money and 
went to fucking Bahamas on a cruise with it. I got to go to the cruise as well, but <laughs> I would have rather have had the Nova. Damn. Hell yeah. Some nice cars out here, man. Don't really give a shit about the GMC truck. Oh, an old F-150 Ranger. Damn. That's pretty cool looking. XLT 302. Hell yeah. All the Challengers. Oh damn, look at that engine bay. Holy shit. Dude, that's fucking sick. I like the way they got that. I'm pretty sure that's hydro dipped. That's pretty fucking cool though. Oh, they down that chrome. Holy shit. Air Raid. Fucking chrome, dude. Hear me? It's fucking rad. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. That's cool as shit. They got the radio in the back with the Bel Air. Bel Air radio. Fuck yeah, dude. That one uh, car over there is a Cuda. The uh, Challenger. Big redneck truck. Ooh, Ferrari. Holy shit. That's cool looking. <laughs> oh, Ferrari. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Oh shit. Where's Dean? <laughs> Damn. That's a Nova though. I was about to say like Hell yeah. And these are just newer cars. I don't really care about those. Ooh, they got shaved ice. New Mustang. Oh shit. Some GTA shit right here. Hell yeah. Bonnie and Clyde. Do you? That's for cool. Fuck yeah. Hyundai. <laughs> they got plastic dip, or not plastic dip, but hydro dipped as well. Fuck yeah. Do you? Camaro. Couple of them around here. Let's get the the drag, <laughs> drag rear end. That's something else I need to do sometime soon. Is I need to go up to uh, to Brainerd, which is not far from where I live. It's only like maybe 15 minutes, something like that. Uh, I go to the Brainerd drag strip, and go up there and and watch some watch some races. They do a lot of drag races and stuff up there. I can actually take my my Dyna and, and run it and see what the times are on it. Well, hell yeah. That turned into a pretty decent, pretty decent video today. So nice. Turned into a pretty, pretty decent, uh, <laughs> decent content for today. I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty cool. That does happen a lot around here though. Uh, just random little car shows and car meets and stuff that I never even know are happening until I just drive by and see it. So it's good that I saw that today because that uh that was pretty neat seeing all these all these cars and stuff that you usually don't see all in one spot like that well guys I appreciate you joining me on today's little little adventure today's uh just kind of exploration mode I'm gonna try to get back into doing stuff like this again because you know like I said in my last video it's been a while since I've done you know like, like exploring type videos just kind of kind of going around the areas and Stuff that I stop, or uh, stuff that I pass all the time, but I just never stop at. Because a lot of this stuff, I mean, pretty much everywhere we've stopped today is places that I pass all the time. I just never stop. It's time that I start getting back to bas basically the roots of my channel. Because <laughs> that's what I started off doing whenever I first started my channel. 
was I would I would just cruise around to areas that I had never been before, places that maybe I went past that road but I just never actually went down it, or places that I even went down that road but I just never stopped at whatever it is is there. Uh, I'm gonna start trying to do stuff like that again just because it's 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 fun. Instead of just going around and just cruising and just talking and that's it, I'm gonna start going to places, going down roads that I've never been down before, uh, stopping and looking at things and reading about it. Uh, because there's a lot of stuff around here that even I don't know, and I've I've lived here for a little while, so it's about time to uh, to start focusing on doing stuff like that. So, I mean, I've been gone for a couple hours so far. And I've <laughs> seen a lot of stuff and, and read a lot of things that maybe I just I mean hell I know you guys probably didn't know it, but hell I didn't even know it. So yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and end it off from here. I'm gonna head back to the house, see if the wife's got the food ready yet or has went and picked it up yet. I'm fucking thirsty as hell. I need a beer. I need a water. Uh, plus, I gotta work tonight, so we're gonna get to the house. And again, let me know in the comments what you think about my new name. Do you prefer Hesher Moto? Do you prefer Hesher Rides? Do you prefer Cruiser Bruiser? Just let me know down in the comments. I mean, hell, I'll read it. I'll reply to it. I'll take it into consideration. But anyway, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, tell your friends, and as always, have a nice day. Bigfoot dick in a mailbox.